I'm Tammy with It's All About the Dogs, and I'm here again with Noelle Blair at Positive Directions Canine Academy. Can you tell we like each other? We've done a lot of videos <laughs> together. We've done a lot of videos together, and actually I come here to train my dogs on a regular basis, so this is a great place to come. I've been coming for 10, 10 years. 10 Believe years. Not, wow. It's crazy. Wow, wow, wow. I know. So, today we're going to talk about a question that I've had a few friends that have asked me that have recently got new puppies. When do I start training my dogs? You start training your dog the minute that whoever hands over the leash or the puppy <laughs> gives it mm -hmm. to you. And from that moment, you need to be training. Whether you're actively training, your dog is actively learning. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that you get started right away. And this they might puppy's... be learning things you don't want them to learn. If exactly. <laughs> so this puppy's four months old. And um, it's really important that you start at least at eight weeks. Your puppy's brain, is as developed as it will ever be as an adult and that first year that brain is like a sponge and all it does is soak up information everything everything just like a toddler mm -hmm. yep so if you're cussing in front of your toddler your toddler's <laughs> going to repeat that <laughs> right right so you're not if you're the idea, not, not you addressing want. exactly <laughs> if you're not addressing your puppy jumping up on people then they're going to continue to do that you don't want to wait until they get to a certain age or a certain size and go, I guess it's time to teach my puppy to stop. Yeah, especially if they weigh 100 pounds, then you've got a really got a problem on your hands. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> they're cute when they're this size, but when they get to be really big and they haven't learned that, it's not so cute so much. It's not so cute no more. Yeah. And the other couple things that I wanted to mention is that um, training dogs is a lot like brushing your teeth. Did you know that? I didn't know that. It in is. what way are you In what about? way am I talking about? Well, it's kind of like you can't brush your teeth once and say it's good for the rest of your life. No. So it's something that has to be practiced daily in order for it to be a success. Which is why I'm still taking classes after 10 years at Noel. And brushing your teeth. And brushing, I do brush my teeth. <laughs> So, which is good. If, which I, is good. if I just brushed my teeth 10 years ago, it would, it would be pretty We probably bad. wouldn't be standing here. <laughs> We're smiling. So, <laughs> so I think that's really important. Um, training your dog is something that you do for a lifetime. It's not something that you do for a minute or for a month. It's something that you have to do all the time. They say that one of our years is like seven for these guys, which means every 52 days is a year in your dog's life. Wow. So if you haven't done something for a month or two, um, it's really it's has a, long a time. huge effect on your dog. Mm -hmm. um, every week is as a month. Mm -hmm. If you do the math, it's kind of crazy. How it is crazy. Well, and you know what? That goes. It, even as a senior, and you, you probably saw Titus in a previous video that we did, he's 16 years old. Uh -huh. And the stuff that he learned, you know, seven, eight years ago doing rally and obedience, he still remembers that. Mm -hmm. And I can take him out in the yard and pretend that we're in a rally course, and he does the things that he remembers that he, that he learned. Yep. And it's important for him, being an older dog, to keep doing that on a regular basis. It is. Keeps his mind busy. You know, keeping your mind active and busy helps um, stave off dementia and mm -hmm. a myriad of other things. And yes, dogs can get dementia as oh, they yeah. get older. Their brain cells are not doing what they used to do, and it's easy for them um, to actually lose that capability. So practicing those things, especially with um, your younger dogs and your older dogs, I think is really important. Right, and if you'll notice, we did a, a, a video earlier um, with her and a clicker training, and mm -hmm. she learned something so fast. She did. And she's just four months old, so yeah. that's great. Is she going to be in your classes here in the near future? She will. She's actually going to be joining my August class for awesome. the Star Puppy, so that How class fun. is coming up soon. <laughs> Yay! When does yep. the Star Puppy class start? Star Puppy class starts the first Wednesday in August. It's at 6 o'clock in the evening, and we'd love to have you. Class size is limited to strictly eight dogs or puppies, so make sure you get your reservation in early because they fill up and you don't want to end up on the waiting list. And, and if you're watching this at a later date and it's not August, <laughs> mm -hmm. be sure to go on Noelle's website in the comments below and sign up for her next class because she has them starting all the time. I do. Just about every four to six weeks. Yes, so. I do. Awesome. Yes, great. Thanks, Noelle. Thank you, guys. See you next time.